they're going to end the BBC license fee prosecutions. So you know where they're prosecuting people at the moment for yeah. not paying their BBC license. I understand you don't pay yours, Nick, but I don't, I don't want to grass you up in any way. Uh, so they're going to stop prosecuting people. And the main reason they're going to stop prosecuting people is it's mainly women. Hmm. And the reason it's mainly women is it's mainly little old ladies who've taken the, is it the red pill or the blue pill? I can never remember. Red pill. Taken the red pill, woken up and said, I'm not yeah. paying my BBC licence because this government is a, a, a travesty or whatever. But then when the nasty little BBC licence man turns yeah. up and says, have you got a TV? They say yes. And mm. they say, have you been watching this, that and the other? They go, Yes. But I'm not paying my life, and then they're arrested and thrown in prison, basically. Because the little, little old ladies are honest, basically. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if it was you or me, you yeah. just tell them to piss off. Yeah. But so, um, so they're looking at, at stopping prosecuting people for not paying their P, P, not paying for their BBC TV license. Yeah. First of all, those old ladies are not invested in thrown in jail because someone's knocked on the door. So talk about... They are, they are. Talk about exaggerating a point. They, they are. They're, there's lots of little old ladies yeah. in jail. They've had to let hardened criminals go <laughs> to get them, to wheel them in, basically. Yeah. You get... They're sharing cells with foreign nationals yeah. who are also here. Yeah. Not paying your TV licence is a criminal offence. Yes. It's not a civil offence. It's a criminal offence. That's what they're going to change. They're going to make it a civil offence. Oh, I see. People will still be taken to court. Yes. But if you still don't pay that, you just get fined. You get fined. You end. You, you never go to jail. Right. At okay. the moment, you end up in court. You don't pay your license. You then don't pay the fine. You go back to court. You get another fine. You don't pay that. Eventually, you end up in jail. Uh, my understanding is it's not little old women. My understanding is it's normally single mothers. Uh, oh, really? Dysfunctional, dysfunctional single mothers. Um, That's not fair, calling them dysfunctional. Well, no, no, not, it's not all single mothers. It's just the dysfunctional ones. Well, we're not dysfunctional and we're not paying for our TV licence. Well, we're not in jail. That's true. Yeah. So what happens... Oh, I see. You mean dysfunctional that they end up in a route where they end up in yes, jail. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. And the reason why it's not dysfunctional men is because dysfunctional men don't have homes. Dysfunctional women, if you've got a kid, always have a home. Paid for by the state. Dysfunctional man won't have his kid with him and uh, he's homeless. I see. So don't have a TV. Yeah. So um, the fact Labour are doing this because it affects women more is appalling. It's identity politics, and I don't support that. But what this will do is it will end the BBC. Because the second you say to people, if you don't have a TV licence, you're not going to jail, you're going to see f so many more people going, well, I'm not getting a TV license. The mm. days of going to jail are gone. Mm. Yeah. It's now it's now the same as not paying a uh, airport parking fine. All they can do is write me letters and threaten to take me to court. And when I get to court, they're going to charge me a pound a week. Yeah, yeah. So it'll get to a stage where the BBC, it, it won't be cost effective to chase people to pay the bill because they never get the money in the first place. I've got a friend who's a solicitor in Stockport. And he said to me once that he doesn't chase people to pay him. He says he'll do work for them. He'll send them a bill, don't pay it. He'll send them another letter, don't pay it. Sends them a final letter, don't pay it. He writes off. He said he used to chase them. And then he realised I'm spending all my time and all my money chasing debts I never get back. I now just write them off and never will, and will never... Can give him give, a service can again. Can you give me his name after <laughs> yeah. this? Uh, That's yeah. why I didn't mention him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't mention him. So he knows there's no point chasing bad money. Because once you've got him to call, it's cost you all that time, energy and money. And then the judge goes, yeah, two pound a week. And then they pay it for a week, stop paying. You've got to then take him back to court, where at the moment, this is all done by the police. Because mm. it's a criminal offence. Mm. So once this happens, it's the end of the BBC licence within... How many years, I don't know, but it's the end. Wow. People en masse will stop paying for it. There's no more deterrent anymore now not to not pay it. Well, <clears throat> all I can say, folks, is you've heard it here first. The BBC licence will, will end yeah. the BBC soon and the Starmer will be out by Christmas. By Christmas. Labour have finally done something that will lead to a good result, but they've done it through incompetence. <laughs>
They've not planned to end the BBC license fee. It's just going to happen because they're incompetent. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.